Hey all you cool cats, did you know Mugen has a debug mode? Here, I'm going to show you how. This is a slightly modified version of Mugen 1.1. It's just life bars and screen pack stuff. Nothing crazy. Everyone has the same files I'm about to show you. So go to the data folder. Look for the mugen.config file. You're going to right click, open with, notepad. Once you open it up, it looks like this. We're going to scroll down until we find debug, or we can use control F to find it. Here we go, debug. Now, by default, debug is turned off. You could turn it on by putting this to a one, like so, but I don't like to have it on. It's a lot of text all over the screen during fighting, so I'll leave that off. But I will allow debug mode, and I will allow debug keys, which allows me to access it on and off as I please. All right, so uh, make sure the settings are one, one, and then debug is zero. Close it out, save it. Now we're gonna load up Mugen. We're gonna go to versus mode. And we are gonna do a Kung Fu Man versus Kung Fu Man fight. Fight. So now, here's some examples of debug mode. Um, Spacebar. Spacebar heals everybody and all your super gauge and everything. So I lost a gauge. <laughs> I guess this Kung Fu Man's also heavily modified. He's lost some life. If I press spacebar, boom, full health. Now, here's some extra special keys. F1, kill your opponent. If you hold control and press F1, kill yourself. If you press F2, bring your opponent to one health. If you press control F2, bring yourself to one health. Pressing spacebar heals you again, remember? If you press F3, looks like it does nothing. However, F3 will give you full gauge. You can also press Control F3, I think, Control Shift F3, and that gives you perpetual super gauge, as you can see. Okay, Fight. next is F4. F4 resets the round. If you press Shift and F4, resets everything. All variables, all uh, states, helpers, everything resets. You press F5, you get a time over. If I had time, it would time over. It's not on right now. If you press F12, you get a screenshot. You go to your Mugen folder and it'll appear as Mugen 000 and then you know the numbers will keep going from there. And there's a screenshot right there. Now, going to the official Mugen 1.1 beta um, documentation, which is still accessible from the Electbyte website. Uh, scrolling down to the very bottom, you can act to access the Mugen console. The console pretty much lets you do everything that the F1 keys do and stuff, and the other control keys. So if I do control and the tilde, I get the console. Now with the console, I could do all kinds of crazy things, right? So I could press help, and it'll tell me all the possible commands. So for sake of uh, example, right? We're gonna do force stand. Force stand will force all the characters to stand. However, they're already standing, so let's make them jump and then try that. Let's see if I can do. How can I do this? Let's see. Okay, that's the AI. So let's do force stand. Wait for the AI to do something. There we go. Force them to stand. Uh, another thing we can do is toggle AI one. So now the AI is turned off. Um, let's say I want to do a certain th state. Like I want him to change state. So I could do um, change state. And then let's go with three thousand. That's his super state. So once I press enter. Oh, I forgot to put who to do it. Change state player one, say 3000. If you pause it, Fight. if you pause it using the 
console, you can also do uh, frame step. Pressing up and enter will let me do it like this. So we can move everything frame by frame, super slow motion. All right, so let's get rid of that. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, so now we're gonna go over certain other control keys. So we have control D. This puts debug mode on. Notice the small font in here in the bottom left and top left. Uh, this is debug mode. It shows information like the state number for the player, the time they've been in the state, the move type, uh, variable actives, the name of them, frames, all that stuff. Now if I press Control D again, it shows me player 2's. Note that it says Kung Fu Man 57. Player 1's 56, player 2's 57 by default. Do it again, takes it off. If I have a helper active, the helper is going to show up in debug also. So this way I can see where the helper is, what state the helper is in, if the, the helper is playing whatever animation. That's how I test stuff, you have to debug things. Now, if I use Control C, I get a hitbox on. It's hard to see, so I'll press Control C again, I get a second uh, different kind of hitbox, and I can see everything now, where the hitboxes are, except that, I, I gotta fix that. Press C, Control C again, takes it off. Uh, Control L will remove life bars in case you want to get those cool screenshots or if you wanted to like work on just getting a nice shot of the background which leads to my next thing actually uh, using Control Alt 1 takes player 1 out Control Alt 2 takes player 2 out and you can put them back in in any order 3 and 4 will remove player 3 and 4 uh, Control 1 will give player 1 AI. Control 2 gives player 2 AI. And that's the AI fighting. Let's take it again so they turn off. Fight. Okay. Okay, next is Control F. Control F is uh, turns a frame skip on and off. By default, it sets to auto, which plays it at the best it can, which is like no frame skip. But if I keep pressing Control and F, notice it's skipping I, I don't know how many frames this is honestly, I guess two frames. And it looks like crap. It plays like crap, it looks like crap. It still looks like crap. There we go, much better. Um, if I press Control I, I could force stand the players into stand. If you notice, I'm canceling his jump, forcing him to stand. Um, let's see, if I do Control S, Control S is supposed to make it faster, but I don't notice the difference. Um, Control T will refill everything. Let's see if I can get it to work. Actually, Control T says it only works in quick verses, but that auto fills both players' life and power. So essentially, it's like a space bar. Uh, Control V is for V Sync. Enable, disable. I don't see a difference. Maybe I have a good computer, maybe not. I don't really know. But that's pretty much all the debug keys. Um, I'm going to list them up here with a picture and a little brief description of what they do. And, you know, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more content.